Citizens of the Reject Nation, hello, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside Aaron. Say your last name so people know. Alexander. Oh, he always says it different. Name. That's his full ah. name. I got alliteration, y'all. Wow. Okay, like a listen. Comic book character. Oh, I like comic books, but today we're not doing that. We're doing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> If that sound is in this movie, Chainsaw. I just I have it inside in my soul. But I've never seen this movie, and I like the I like the stuff, guys. So I'm a little scared. I'm glad I'm doing it here. I decided I'm gonna watch all the scary movies that I haven't seen. I have to do it here because it's in the daylight with a friend. So we're gonna do it now. Listen, you gotta get on the Patreon because then we call you super sexy. Oh wait, y'all, I need to rewind. Y'all, you need to leave a like. You need to get in there and you leave you leave a comment and then also don't forget ring the bell. Ring the bell! And now get to Patreon, okay? Because we call you super sexy over there. You can watch a full length reaction with me and Aaron. We watch the, the whole movie. You get to see a lot more than you do on here. Yeah, and we, we call you sexy. So, like, just get on there. You know the juice. Also, Greg and John have full highlights and reactions over there on Patreon. You can check them out. There's a lot more up on there to get the juice all together and get moving and grooving, okay? We love you so much. Are you ready to get scared? I was... Yes. That was the longest intro of, like, literally my entire life. You I felt like it was it, really though. long. Okay, we're going to watch it right now. The film which you are about oh. to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. These are their stories. Bum, 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 bum. I'm ready. We're ready bum, bum. to be scared. 1973. 55 years before I was born. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the math. But it's a lot of years before me, too. I think what I just said is I haven't even been born yet, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh. That's a foot. Okay. Uh, uh, that's so gross nails. Mm -mm. Okay, this looks like we're digging up a dead body. Yeah. The little intro in the beginning made it feel like more realistic, and this also kind of adds to that feeling. Oh. Damn. Oh, rough. Uh, oh, whoa. Gross. Ew, it's dripping. And there's co cobwebs and just stringy hair kills me. Cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community. The remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed. The remainder of the corpse left intact. Oh, my God. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. Oil storage units continue. Wow, what a long shot. Yeah. Cool. One take. Are you willing out of there? Also oh, in the wheelchair. Uh, so that's her brother. What a pit. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. No. I'm not hitting him, too. The condition of retrogradation is contrary or inharmonious to the regular direction of actual movement in the Zodiac and is, in that respect, evil. What is this, 2023? <laughs> <laughs> Zodiacs and retrogrades. It just means Saturn's a bad influence. It's just particularly a bad influence now because it's in retrograde. They would fit right into this year. They really would. <laughs> and I didn't know it was Saturn. I always thought it was Mercury. Yeah, I, d I don't even know. I'm In retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen here about, they don't tell about. <laughs> I, I see things. Interesting shot. Franklin, don't worry. I saw it myself. He didn't look dug up to me. That's the old slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. That's where they kill him. They bash him in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, oh that's all. Oh, God. Oh, no. Kill him on the first lick. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying Leave to see. the cows alone. Leave them alone, and I don't I don't want to see them drooling. Hitchhiker. Should we pick him up? Oh, yeah, man. Pick him up. He'll asphyxiate out there. Don't pick him up. Don't do that. Yeah, don't you guys already have enough people in this van? Y'all are squished in and sweating up a storm. Right. Oh, boy. Okay, they left him. Oh, no, they're nope. not. Okay. It's a horror movie, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they got they got hip to it. They were like, it's too hot in here. Let's skip it. No. So I think we just picked up The conflict <laughs> <bombs>. <laughs> Sketchy ass yeah. people. Uh, oh God. I was what at the slaughterhouse. I got an uncle that works at the slaughterhouse. Hey, my, my brother works there. What is my family yeah, my always been in me? <laughs> Old family attraction. Oh God. With a sledge. See that was better. They died better that one. New way people put on jobs. You do that? Look. Uh uh. Oh I oh, I don't no, wanna see no, this. No, no, no. Okay. What is it gonna be? I think you... They don't send the heads away for the nose and the gums and all the flesh and they boil it down into a, a, a big jelly of fat. That's nice. Uh. We can talk about something else. Uh, you'd probably like it if you didn't know what was in it. Uh, <laughs> also, why is nobody like, what's all that blood all over your face? I think that was a bruise, dude. A bruise? Or it's like a birthmark or something. Okay. Yeah, because it's like in a pattern. I think it'd be more splattered if it was blood. I just figured maybe he wiped it in a weird way, like a. <laughs> oh, he loves don't blood. Don't do that. I don't like your vibe, bro. Get out of here. Hell no. Hell to the no, no, no. Stop the car. This is get why him we out. don't get strangers in the car. Oh my god, what's going on, y'all? He's a nice guy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my god, I legit can't. Uh... Get the They're just F like sitting there out of my staring car. at him. Get the F out of my goddamn car. If he smears it on his face, we know it's blood and not a birthmark. This is why we don't talk to strangers. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, what? I what? I got a knife too. Oh, God. Uh, 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 I don't knife. like it. No, 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 no. Definitely take mm, it. Take mm, it away mm, from mm. him. Get that knife away from him and kick him out your car. It's a camera and uh, some taxidermy is what it is. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. What? You can take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. Nope. Well, I, I don't know, man. We're in pretty much of a hurry. Black people don't do this shit. This is a hell no. You just, like, get him out. <laughs> just get like, we, we haven't you stopped have yet. You have the numbers. Get him out of here. You like it, Jesus. Brother makes it real good. You like it? I think we better push on now. Don't no. You, no, I don't want to meet your brother. He doesn't sound like a fun guy. Neither yeah. do you. <laughs> Are they not going to look like them in this the pictures? This is so creepy. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm just shook that they haven't stopped and been like, nice you can get hey, out can now. Pay, now. pay him? No, man. Frankly, give them back now. Get the fuck out of my car. <laughs> That's your payment. It, oh, what what the hell is that? Aluminum? Not is the aluminium. Start, Come oh on. God. I thought he was going to start doing crack or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, what is he going to do now? Not the crack. He is. Is he going to do drugs off the picture? <laughs> What could, is he doing? Could you think of a better time? Oh, my God. Is it black tar heroin? It's black tar heroin. What a better time. Oh, my God. I. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The knife. Oh, the knife. No. See? What the fuck? No. This is why nope. we don't talk to strangers. Pull over the. Oh, my God. Y'all? Huh. Oh my god. Uh, Why are they going so slow? Oh, he's marked your car. You've marked them for death. With his crazy blood. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm uh, a pretty cop. I mean That's what you the get driver, for picking up, picking I mean, up like, strangers. You're fired. How did we not pull over five minutes ago? And get him out of the car once he started opening up his hand with the blade. 
Oh, wow. They wash your car, too? So would you fill her up, please? Fill her up. Buttercup, baby, don't you let me down. Tank's empty. Transport won't be here until late this afternoon. Oh. Uh, you know where the old Franklin place is? Well, those things is dangerous. You're liable to get hurt. Oh, my father owns it. I got some good barbecue here. Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? Listen to him. Everyone in here has a tinge of, like, they're a little behind. Like, the guy with the windows only. They want to know what happens when they go to the house. And Tara, do you know what happens when he asks stupid questions? There's no stupid questions. When you ask stupid questions. No, he's going to die. You, you win get, stupid prizes. You <laughs> hey, I bet that's some of that guy's blood. Look at that. Look at that. Think that's Jeffrey blood? didn't just cut me. Yeah, I guess so. You don't say. You think you could do that to yourself? Like crazy? Clearly hey, you are if you go in this goddamn though, I mean, house. Just to do that to yourself like you did? God. Do you think I said something made him mad? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because it's your fault. He's crazy. Come on, Sally. We're going out to Grandpa's place. Let's go. Hey, that, that guy smeared blood all over the van. See what I mean? Everyone's a little off. Like the guy with the red hair only followed that guy around. He would go and he'd knock in the car. He'd leave and not clean it. Now he's looking up in the sky all weird. Then the guy with the blood. I'm like, maybe she's right about the Saturn and this town. People are... I don't know. Thumbs off. I don't know. Why would he not on. wipe the blood? Yeah. That's a yeah. Good well, question. he was just, I guess, because the guy kept leaving. Anytime the guy would leave, he would leave too, which I think is great direction. Um, you think that guy's just trying to scare us by you know, blowing up my picture like that? No, he marked you for death. That's, that's what he did. Oh, what? Oh, that's weird. Ooh. wonder if that means something. That's a weird looking cigar. It's not a cigar. I don't know. It's meat, right? He's eating like a meat. <laughs> He's eating like a meat <laughs> stick. <laughs> Meaty stick. Man, you Looks like a finger. Oh my God, get it out of Get it out of your mouth, you? buddy. What for? <laughs> Where's my knife? Oh hell! He took his guy. Why knife. is he doing the like the guy was doing when he got dropped off? There's something going on. Oh my god, no, thank you. Why is there so many? Get out of here. Who do you think dies first? I think he lies till the end. No, I think he's, he's, I think he's the, gone. I think he's he's got the weird, weird blood in him, though. Is Jerry and Sally going? No, we'll see you in an hour or so. You won't. What? What the hell is that? That was like a vertebrae. Like a a spine. bird what? nest? What? Like a bird bone nest? Is oh. That? oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's like a like a ritual looking thing. Sally? Sally? Hell no. Mm -hmm. This is when we leave. This is when we, we continue driving. It's like the driving. mistletoe of death. Yeah. The mistletoe of death. Kissed by a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, have you seen the movie Cabin in the Woods? No. <gasps> oh, my God. This is reminding me of that movie a little bit. But you should definitely watch that. Oh, my yeah. God. Where is a noise coming from? I'm not trying to find out. I mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to go near whatever the hell that is. Oh, it's a generator. Got it. I feel like it's a term t applicable to most of our movies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ew. Nah, that's tooth. a tooth. Got something for you. Some, someone's like getting something. Hilarious. <laughs> Ugh. <Woo>! Gross. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I feel like guys are really missing out on the 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 jean shirt, just fully open look. Fully these days. open, chest full of hair. Hello. Get the hell out of that house. I tell you, these guys are on phase by all of it. Clearly, yeah. your homie got cut in the car. By is a that what is that out. noise? That sounds a like pig. a pig. 
It's a pig. It's a no. pig. Jigsaw's here. I know it. What the fuck? Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Holy sh! Oh my god! Threw him like a rag doll, dude. Okay. Obviously, that's how the cattle. The cattle suffered. He suffered there. Moving around. This is all just... Uh, girl, don't. Just... I don't know. She has to get her boyfriend. No, you just you yell from, from the door, and if he doesn't answer, you get the F out of there, and you go find your friends. Because uh, there's strength in numbers. Don't open that door, honey. Okay, well, bye-bye to you two, huh? Adios. Adios, chick. It's been nice knowing you. What, 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 uh, oh. oh, bones, bones, bones. So many feathers. Bones and feathers. <laughs> uh, yeah. We don't go in strangers' houses. That looks like a human foot. Oh, boy. Here Sounds we about go. right. Yeah. Yep, okay. This is so disturbing. This is eerie and uncomfortable, and my skin is crawling. Girl, I mean, get up off the floor already. It's a crown what? of feathers on a skull. What the hell? Uh, oh, and a turtle shell. No. Uh, Poor turtle. Uh, if you don't get out of that freaking house, dude. Girl, get Get up and go. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yep. Oh, boy. Yep. Sounds about right. Yep. He's so big, too. Oh, like, that nothing you should even really do. He's like manhandling yeah. her. He's oh, huge. my God. Oh, God. Where? Where? <gasps> oh, no, oh, on the hook. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 It just slowly goes in? Oh, God. What? Mm. Oh. In the chainsaw. Oh, God, mm. help us. Okay. Creepy ass mask, too. Oh, this is horrifying. How is, is she still alive? Where is that hook? This is horrible. It's in her back, dude. It's like. Uh. He's coming to get you. You don't think it means Oh, it's anything? like a bird. It's like a bird skull. Oh. I can't find my knife. That knife would do you any good. He likes that knife, remember? When did you have it last? When the guy was was cutting you? You had it last. I gave it to you, remember? What'd you do with it? Well, I don't know. Didn't I give it back to you? You just never gave it back to me. All right, I'll look for it. Was that the girl reading astronomy or was the other girl? It was the... Uh... <laughs> Okay, I'm happy I'm not alone. It was the other girl. It was the other girl? Yeah. Okay. Because she wasn't blonde reading the book. Come on, victim number three. Mm -hmm. Is anybody home? We just love doing mm -hmm. dumb things and going to places we shouldn't. Friend? Hello? Also, isn't that, that's one of their jackets. I think so. Or is, that, or is that a blanket? Is anybody here? I don't think he was wearing a jacket. It might have been the blanket. You're right. They took a blanket with him. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's on the porch, right? He's got yep. to see that and go, oh, they're inside. Are you guys in there? <laughs> what is this sound? I hate it. Okay, you guys. What a weird sound. What is this sound? You're about to get snatched, homie. Oh, oh they're not there anymore. Uh, where are they? You removed them. 
Are they in the, in the freezer? freezer? Hell no. Hell no. Don't go in there. Uh, what the? What the? She's not dead. What the? Oh, what? God, that noise. What is that? What? He's freaking out that making, there's more people. Yeah, he's making some sort of noise. <laughs> oh, God, his teeth. I can't yeah. even look at He's licking them. Oh, he grosses me out so much. Wait a minute, we've got to go look for them. Yeah. Oh, well, what if we get lost, too? Jerry! Where are the others? Like, if the car had some gas, I'd be driving the van right, right now. They'll probably be back in a minute or so. Sally, we ought to go into that gas station. Agreed. Listen to your boy. Yeah, I mean, that's the only option, Sally. Sally, they took the keys. We don't have any keys. Give me that flashlight. No, I got the key flashlight. All right, all right. I'm going to go look for them. Give me that flashlight. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'll, I'll go with you. Don't leave the van on. It's going to definitely die now. Yeah. Even though the keys aren't in the van. The lights are on, though. I thought I heard something. There's a light. Yeah? Yeah. Don't follow it. Uh, Run from it. Where there's light, there's death. Uh, hey, Jay! Don't do it. Please don't do it. If one of us goes in, then we all go through it. <laughs> We're all going to die. <laughs> Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. Ah! Oh, no! Oh! Ah! That got me. Ah! Oh, my God. That... Okay, girl, run. Run. Just run. Run. Just run. What are you doing? Don't Just stand low. there. Scream, Good run. God. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Good oh. on you. Good on you, movie. Yeah. I don't get jump scared often. But you got me today. That was a good one. Oh, God. Get out of there, dude. So and he can cut through the trees because he has a chainsaw. Oh, yep, yep, all right. Here we go. Just, go. just run, just run. Yep, this is just a thing of nightmares, that's for sure. Don't scream. He's going to know where you are. Run. What is she doing? Bro she's being dumb. Oh, my gosh. She's stuck. She's being a Girl, dummy. Get oh, good Lord. Get out of there. Uh, are you going to the house? I don't know. She's going to his You're going house. going to his house, Oh, girl, dummy? you got to find all your friends who are dead. You're going straight to the den, girl. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, lock, lock the door. Not that he can't just chain through it. Right. Or break all the windows. Yeah, now you're really in it. Oh, God, oh, what's up? My. You're going to cut through your own door? Yeah, just knock it down, buddy. It just buddy. seems kind of kind of. Just kick it. You're like 6'11". Right. You've got enough weight. To oh! oh, my God. What is that? Oh! <laughs> Dead grandpa. What? Dead grandma. No. Oh my Thank god. You. This is so disturbing. Dead dog. What? Oh god. Oh my god. Yep, you're gonna jump out a window at this point. I can only imagine this movie traumatized. Oh my god, she did it! <laughs> you she did, it. did it! I didn't think that was gonna happen! Good job! <laughs> it is something kind of smart. Oh good job. Good, oh, God, good what's job, he going to do, character. just drop the chainsaw on her? Is like, he going to drop the chainsaw? Is he going to just drop it, and it's going to uh, go through? No, he's okay. going to go down. Okay. This movie's not that wacky. Okay, all right. Well, you, just gotta, you just got to go. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, girl, get up. Get up. Come on. Oh my God, he's right there. How is homie so fast? He's right there. He's right behind you. So tense. This is the gas oh station. Oh my God, you ran that. F okay. 
Oh my God, is it that guy? Is it the gas station guy? Oh, oh no, it's not, okay. Oh, thank God, okay, we just got some help. Yeah, what, ha what happened to him? He just. I'll get to try. Take it easy. What? Only the door Why open is like so that. Quiet. What? What is she looking at? Uh, what is she looking at? What is oh, that? Oh, is it the meat? Oh, or she's what? cooking the meats. They slaughter meats. Yeah. The barbecue? I'm so, so easy. <gasps> is that the body parts from the cadavers that they've been talking about? And he's the guy who's been digging up bodies? And it's not, it's not real barbecue. It's human barbecue? Oh, God. <laughs> he's so creepy. Oh, God. I trust nobody and nothing. Why did Chainsaw Guy immediately stop when we got here? Rope? Why do you got what rope? What is going on? What is going on? No, no, no. There's no need to do that. <laughs> Nobody's going to hurt you. <laughs> oh, my God. What is he? Are you beating with a broom? What the what hell? What is going on? This is creepy as hell. What is... Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. I can't. I... What is he doing? Strangling what? her? What is... Did he what? beat her? Did oh, he he... knocked her out. We need some answers or something. We have to, right? Is he gonna just drive her back to the slaughter guy? What are you poking her for? What is he doing? No, no need to do that. <laughs> so creepy. So uncomfortable. Uh, uh, that's scarier than the chainsaw guy. Yeah. What is real. going real on? Realistic. Who's that? He's taking. Is that his house? What? Who the hell is that? Who? Oh, is that the, oh the my guy? God, it's the guy! It's the guy! I told you to stay away from that graveyard! Oh. And they're at the house. Oh, they're all in on it. Wonderful. I told you! Brother. Oh, the the brother family. is is the is the, is the is, killer yeah. chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, an arm. Oh. oh. Grandpa. Grandpa's dead, right? I'll I mean, take it. young lady, you, you just you just take it easy there now. But we'll we'll fix you some supper in a few minutes, huh? <laughs> I don't want I don't, I don't want whatever the where, supper is. Where? Oh. I don't want whatever they're cooking. You just take it easy, huh? Take it easy. Huh? Mm -hmm. We'll have you some meat right away. Nope. Oh God. God no, no, don't eat the meat. Don't eat the meat. Don't eat the meat, girl. This isn't Arby's. That's your friends. Arby's inside. That's your friends inside, yeah. I mean, like I'm saying she if she eats there, it's gonna be your friends insides. Yeah. What the oh, grandpa? Yeah, grandpa is dead. Why are we getting him? Is this the ritual? Just just bury grandpa. He's gone. Oh my god. That's why they were up there. They just like keep their, oh. keep their dead bodies. This movie is disturbing. I really think this is like more disturbing than Saw. Absolutely, because this is just I it's just so real right now that I'm like, I can't. Yeah, it's psychologically messed up and there's something like grounded and like eerie and real about it. Grandpa's gone, dude. Oh, that's the, where the cutting begins. Are they going to try to, if like... If they get her blood, does it bring him back? What's going they're on? They're trying to resurrect Grandpa. No, not her finger, not her finger! Oh, I thought they were going to cut it off. They're going to feed it to Grandpa! Grandpa's dead, though, y'all. Grandpa's gone. Is, is, Grandpa, is he not dead? Is he going to freaking open his eyes and be living? I can't be doing that right now. I think I just saw him blinking, like, moving oh his eyes. Oh, my God. Are you for real? He's oh! sucking on him! Oh, 
God, what the hell? Oh, no. Oh. I imagine this movie probably traumatized the shit out of people in the 70s. It ha- Absolutely. <laughs> this is like, what is the bird? What's going on? A bird in the armadillo. Because I imagine they've oh never seen anything up to that point. Oh, God. Grandpa is alive. He's makeup on now. Oh, God. Yeah. It's. And it's like they carve someone ew, else's and she's face. She's on someone else's arms yeah. and hands. Yeah. This is awful. And they're taunting her. Oh, wow. Oh. A face lamp? No. No. Mm. Oh, my God. This is so messed up. How is she going to get out of this, if at all? She's not. (sighs) He's just a cook. Shut up, you bitch hog. Oh, my God. Are they going to... The chicken head on a plate thing on the little table. (laughs) Well, little close-up shots. Yeah. But terrifying. For eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> Grandpa's the best. It won't hurt a bit. Okay. Maybe now she could get out of it if she finds a weapon and stabs everybody. Grandpa's Grandpa's half dead, y'all. Grandpa is doesn't got it in him. Oh my him, god. It's the bit. Oh, you oh escaped? my god, right. okay. She All actually right. escaped? Out another window, girl. Okay. How did she actually okay. escape? Oh, I wow. don't know. I thought she would be knocked out. Right. They hit you like three times with that mallet. Right. Oh my lord. It is daylight. How are they not chasing after her already? What's going on? <sighs> God, that was so stressful. I hated every second of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Here he comes. At least it's a skinny guy, I guess. Got her. My God, is a car going to come and then they're going to see her? (gasps) Oh, my God. If they don't stop, I don't I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, are they going to run? him over? Oh! Whoa! Damn. Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah, he's like, nope, okay. Yeah, get in the car. Oh, good for you, sir. Good for you, sir. Good citizen. Oh, God. No, no, honey. Why are you getting out? Why would you get? Just drive! Drive Drive away. What? what are you guys doing? What? No. Now you're being stupid. No. No. Now you're just being dumb. Why? Why did we do that? You had a car, girl. <laughs> oh my god! If that. You got what? Oh god! Oh. What? <laughs> this is okay. Oh. All right. You're just as dumb. That was dumb. Yeah, stop. That girl's bloody as hell. Jump in the back, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Nope. 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 Oh, God, that sound. What happened to the other guy? Is that it? Is that the end of the movie? Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. That was... Okay, um, that was a journey. That was something. That was a journey. 
That was an experience to say the least. Oh, okay. <sighs> um, <laughs> yeah, I feel. Uh, uh, so gross. I feel gnarly and I feel really exhausted. Like yeah. that, the ending of that, like where they're just, they're trying to get grandpa to hit her was like the, the worst, the worst, the thing of all nightmares. I don't even know what. And the guy, I did think it was cool that the guy threw something. I don't know what he threw in his eye. He th- and then he, he fell, threw a wrench at his head. A wrench? He threw Because he. they showed a shot of him grabbing the wrench. He grabbed a wrench. That makes <laughs> more sense. I was like, what did he throw that knocks, it knocked him down yeah and then the chainsaw goes into him and i'm telling you the last shot to me felt very like the joker with joaquin phoenix when he's on the stairs he does like a Mm. weird dance like that and i'm like oh it's so demented um yeah wild thoughts aaron oh man Um. like did you like it did you like what was your favorite part my favorite part of it that's tough. Uh, I, I will say because of the or jump the... scare, uh, yeah. that part when like we first get the reveal that he's out there with them and he kills the um, <sighs> the one dude and starts chasing her, I would say like that was the most tense part for me. Um, yeah, I will say this movie does a really good job in the beginning part, the beginning half, or for the first two thirds of really building up tension. Of like holding long shots, you know, mm-hmm. building up the uh, the suspense with all of the audio and the like the talk about death and like all the murders and so grim and it's just like this very tense experience for like most of the movie and then yeah this really long chase scene with him going around and trying to get her and then like the movie does a really good job of of encapsulating dread and. Yeah. I think disturbing imagery. I like I said it during the, our uh, reaction. The fact that this is a movie that is more disturbing than Saw, and yeah. Saw came out like oh, years God. later. Yeah, and yeah, I think just the nature of it being in seems like it was an indie movie, and with it being the seventies, there's like a different standard. Like I, I can imagine a movie like this being made today, but watching it, yeah. I see all of the influences that. In other right. horror movies that I've seen, like, have you ever seen the movie X? No. No? Okay. Well, this very much reminded me of that movie X. And I was like, okay, I can definitely see this movie had to walk. So movies like X and uh, Cabin, other... Cabin in the Woods and other influences of horrors could okay. run. Yeah. I will say, though, um, even though it was building up tension in that, that third act, it started to get a little much for me. It started to become, like, it started yeah. to go on a little long. And I was like... I I get it. We're like sitting in the tension, but I'm like, okay, like, what are we, what are we doing? I feel like it was, it was like plateauing, and it kind of like lost some of its effect for me because I was like, okay, we're kind of just like sitting in this, but what's happening? And I think the reason of how she got out of it was like a little unbelievable. I was like, he's holding her, and like he Leatherface is right there. How does she just get away and run? And I don't know. I. I, I I think I liked most of it. Um, I don't know if likes. I can't even say like. Likes not yeah. like the apt word it's, for this experience. It's <laughs> a tough one to like describe. Yeah. Yeah, it's eerie, and I think it's it's it was impressive about being able to build up that tension, being able yeah. to to show these these images in a way that's like because I can easily see this movie being something that's shown, but is like discussing for discussing sake or like has all these images for the for the shock value, but it was really building up like the horrific nature of of what it was. Of what this family was. Yeah. yeah. And even though we don't get a lot of information about who they are and what they do, I think a lot of the the subtext and the the visuals kind of display and tell a story of it in and of itself. And I thought that was very impressive about the movie. Yeah, and in the beginning, like, uh, with, with all of the astrology talk, and there's a lot of shots back to, like, the sun and the moon in here, they, mm-hmm. like, constantly fade to that, where that's, like, having a pull and effect. And yeah. what we hear on the radio initially with, like, the, the bodies being dug up 
And then um, also just going back to them where I'm like, oh, I really do think the barbecue was, uh, it's obviously humans. And I'm like, oh, because they didn't have fresh blood, I guess, through this town. I still think that that is a, that's probably what was what was going down. They needed fresh blood to feed grandpa. Um, (laughs) I feel like all of it, uh, the setup was... um, was nice in how they brought it into the characters yeah. initially with her being obsessed with astrology and then them not really being affected by the weird guy cutting his hand in the car. Like right. nobody really freaked out, which led us to not being super mad when they first go to the house. You're like, why are you in this guy's house? The guy told you before, don't go up there. No, nothing really like affects these guys, um, which uh, I liked, which led it, it led me like more into the story of following them. I think like the part where it kind of plateaus when they're, we're left with the last two. We know that they're going to end up going to the house and where they'll probably being killed. But I did not see the twists and turns inside of the home. What was going to happen, which did keep it very exciting for me, but it was extra disturbing. Like it was just so real that they keep grandpa and the it's, it was just so real that I just, uh, I mean, you probably, yeah, you can cut back to my face. I mean, at the end of that, I was just like, I don't even want to f- fully watch this for a minute more. <laughs> like, it was just so it just disturbing. It makes you feel gross. It makes you feel really gross. Like, I was like, oh, man, can we please cut out of the shot? And then, But it's, it's a good way of, like, cinematically pushing you to the threshold so that when she does run away, you're like, yes, okay, cool, she got away. I'm. I was only in the headset of not even like this is dumb. How could she? I was just like, thank God we were out of there. Like, run. I also yeah. think it would have been difficult, but there are a bunch of weirdos in there, and I knew it when he untied her. I was like, this skinny kid can't hold her down. Uh. Anyway, I'm. I'm glad that she got away. I do think it's a. It's a more fun ending with her. Uh, getting away. Uh, yeah, because they're not going to build up all that tension for them not to have to her have escape. somebody, right? Have some semblance of hope. <laughs> and the terror of the life that she leads after that, though, oh you can't God. even live. Scarred forever. For Like, you're going to be a malfunctioning human. Yeah, no, right? there's no quality of life for her, probably. And she needs a lot of therapy after that. Yeah. I mean, I just... I do think the foundation, the way it was set, the world is like crumbling. There's so much crime and there's like cholera and then people digging up dead bodies. And then we have this family in a town and it just, I don't know. I'm like, is this how all the little towns are? Like, because the the news on the radio, all of it was really bad and weird. So I'm I'm wondering if that will lead us to having more of this because it has affected the world because there's multiples of these right there's yeah more. i think okay. it's, a, it's a whole franchise and i can understand how it spawned a franchise because i can't imagine there was another horror movie like this prior to this coming out because like it's right. this grindhouse kind of yeah lower budget low small casts long disturbing shots. long shots really really setting the tone and setting the environment mm-hmm. of what you're about to experience and i think that it's very telling that we in 2023 are watching this movie from what is it 1974 yeah. and we're still dis- just as disturbed as Ooh. they probably were if not more when this movie came out and yeah. it's the tension it's the 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 just the nature of everything that the movie had put on screen it's more disturbing than saw and saw was like had crazy images and traps and but i think it's, it's the it's quicker editing and saw and like a longer shot of just staying on where they're like grandpa go ahead and hit her nope it didn't move it didn't go go well, ahead try it again i'm like yeah, dying it, inside yeah it's 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 it Even feels more realistic through the woods realistic right because they're not cutting they didn't they're using a lot of like mid shots to like masters of her just like running mm-hmm. and not cutting out of them a lot to do a lot of close ups. We're just we're just with her on this run away right. from this this crazy dude, which makes it seem way more realistic. Also the stuff in like the middle, like when stuff starts going down, like how they portray this uh this dude is just like this massive like hulking figure like the fact yeah, that he's he just, just can wolf. manhandle the yeah. the first guy and like picked up the girl like it's nothing and put her on the hook and uh 
Oh, what did he do with the, the third guy? Do we see? Oh, yeah, he just I like hit him with the club. Yeah, he we just didn't really see, but him. just. And, and that the, was like another callback to the to the butchering of the cows, where they were like they hit him once, but they have to hit him a few times to kill him. Yeah. And the first guy, he did that weird like seizuring. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh god, I didn't realize that that if you get hit that hard, like you, ah, like, it seize was out, spaz that out. was freaky. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think a lot of this experience was was freaky and disturbing, and like I. I can say I would I would watch the Saw movies again. I don't know if I'd ever watch this again. Oh no, I can't. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I have no desire. I I I, I mean they, I can respect it, but I have no desire to, to see this again. And I know there's screenings of this, like you know what for Halloween season. Yeah. I'm like I would need to let a good ten to twenty years go by for me to like forget and then go oh revisit it because that ending the end part when they once they find grandma and grandpa and we're rocking and rolling with sally and her torture it is really tough with the dad and they're all like they're all pokers poking now to me is like nobody poke me for the next 10 days otherwise i'm gonna lose it like i will lose it it's a poke freeze there (laughs) it's a poke freeze there are so many there are so many things in this movie that i'm like Oh, just I hope I can go about my day um, tomorrow and the rest of this week and not have glimpses of what's happening in this movie. Yeah, because it really I don't know. Yeah, there there are movies that like can kind of stick with you. And because I think Saw did, too, but it, it was a little easier for me to go like Saw cool and walk away from it. I think. I think I know how to like consolidate and just be like this this movie goes in a box and that box goes in a trash in my brain but I'm just saying this is a little harder to walk away from because it felt so real and so grounded and just yeah mm. also I think a, a part of it at least for me that plays into it is um the fact that in the Saw movies and I know we keep referencing Saw cuz we just watched We them. just watched the Saw so go you'll see the videos guys that's why we're yeah we're talking about it but I think in those movies, the majority of people that are being tortured are men. And I think just watching this girl go through this experience with, like, this this really big dude and, like, these these two, like, unhinged uh, father and son and just all of them and how help, how helpless and how scared she is yeah. and the screaming of her just makes it just, like, all that much more um, disturbing and hard to sit through. And I know this is, like, a, a cult classic. I know people really, really love this movie, but I get... One, I understand why from the, the the first two acts of the movie and like how it builds up tension, and yeah, how how it's an influence for sure. I just, um, yeah, man, this was it's a it's a classic for a reason. I get it, but uh, yeah, really disturbing film. It's a great suspense thriller. I mean, the shots are cool. Uh, he they did take a lot of like. Um, cool liberties with the cinematic shots especially towards the end i really liked when the creepy dad guy got in the in the truck and was driving her back to the house that light on his face that was a cool shot i'll say that such a cool shot the close-ups of her eyes like what this movie i do also really appreciate which i'll just point out real quick is the close-up of her eyes gave me so much anxiety at first i was like Mm. beautiful shot cool shot of the eye wow they got a really close up and then they kept on there and it made me feel claustrophobic and l it all came bubbling up. Um, I I really I did really like this movie. It came, it brought some stuff up. So that's like it did what it set out to do. It did it did, it did its job. Yeah, I was scared. That jump scare was terrifying. Everybody in here did a great job. I believed all of them. Uh, I would give it uh, an eight out of ten. I mean, for like a suspense horror thriller, like she is good. I didn't. It did the job. Yeah, I would say it's one of those movies that um, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite movies, but I would say it's 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 well made, right? Like I can't be like for me, this can't be like a favorite because it's so the end there was really hard for me to watch. I'm so glad she got away, yeah, and that he got cut by his own chainsaw that was awesome also before Ray, i just want to say that was really dumb why the guy uh, get out of the car why car? you have a whole ass van man you have a whole ass uh truck, 16 semi. wheeler that was a semi that was yeah dumb as hell but uh, yeah. i will say because of uh the nature and the fact that this is a horror movie and even though it was made back in the 70s and it's still able to invoke these feelings in spite of the fact that there's so many 
advancements advancements in technology and filmmaking that since it's come out since when this was released yeah i will say that uh yeah it was a as far as horror movies goes it was a successful experience and yeah. it was great uh yeah. so i gotta knock off a point for that that part at the end because i was With like that was car. just that I was know. dumb i'm like i guess you could you could write it off where they're like he the chainsaw he's hearing out in the door i'm like bro you could have hit the gas and been out of exactly. there by by then so guess, that part was like come on but then people yeah. do dumb things when they're scared yeah. so i'm like i yeah. guess i can chalk it up to that but i would say i would give it a 7.5 for me yeah all right it's about well. where it sits Woof, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We did it. We made it through. It may stick with us negatively for a day or so. It's a great it's a great film. But, yes, I don't know if I could watch it again for a little while. So that's it. Uh, let us know what you guys think. I mean, do you watch this every Halloween season? Let us know. If you do... Are you like distracted a lot of the time? Like you're Are you not, okay? you're not like in it like we were, right? Like Are the other ones this bad? You're walking around doing dishes because this is intense. Yeah. Um. Anywho, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, be- become super sexy, join Patreon. We love you guys so much. Uh, any last words before we get out of here? Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> that sounds good. I'm gonna go have a drink, a strong one. Maybe I'll get a martini. Amen to that. We love you guys so much. Thanks for watching Scary Movies with us, and we will see you later. Bye.